and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDDLE at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the fastest way to level up. Now, if you guys already have two of these on my channel, I did the first one, the updated first one. And now there's a new method and a quicker way to actually level up. So I just wanted I want to get it out in the channel because this isn't the video that like day one you guys all care about. This is the video that like over the next two months you guys will watch. So I want to get it out today so I have one on my channel so you guys can always find it for guys that may not subscribe to other YouTubers who have posted it. Some of you guys that are only here for me. So I want to have my own version of it on here. Guys, this method used to be great. Then they found this, and this method is phenomenal. The other method took me like seven, eight hours to level up to level the next max mod level. This one was a harder max mod level, right? More XP, gets to level 70 way harder. I did it in about four to five hours. No joke. This method gives you double XP, the other one. The other one was like 120. This one, if you get one play touchdowns, is like, I think it's like 220. I'll show you guys all the XP, obviously, in the video. Well, at least I'll try to. I don't know how much XP. I don't know if you want to show me the XP because I am max mod level. But you guys can see for yourself. It varies, right? So this solo varies. Sometimes I got one. Sometimes I got 170. Sometimes I got 220. Sometimes I got 200. I think if you score a one play touchdown right away, I think you get 220. I think if you take a few plays, you get like 170. But again, the other one at its max was like 110, 120. So this one is way better. You're almost at double. So what it would have taken you to get five to six levels before is now 10 levels so realistically you do the you do the mutt level grind at half of what it used to take obviously it's a lot harder now because we can get in higher levels but i know a lot of you guys haven't got your levels up done yet and guys please the best way i can't stress this enough the best way to quickly boost your madden coins and your team is by leveling up i told you i went from 650k to 1.3 million coins just going from level 60 to 70 with the power pass the quick sells the gridiron packs the uh the level up packs guys that's the quickest way quickest way to change your team real fast so do the new level up grind that's why i'm always hyped for a new level up grind you get a, a ton of cool stuff and power passes you can get a free mutt 10 player from this power path there's just so much opportunity for all this guys so hopefully you guys take advantage of that i'm gonna go into the solo it's a new it's a newer solo not one that you're accustomed to guys but let's head on over to challenges real quick and we're going to show you guys exactly what solo it is now personally I'm so happy we found this, guys. It couldn't have been any better. Oh, and real quick, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe. Turn on that noti bell. Come join the family, guys. I just helped you guys out. Come join. I drop informational Madden videos, entertainment every single day. So, that's the right. If this is the right place for you, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below how much XP you're getting from this, because I believe it's 220, like 170, 140, depending on what you do. And also, make sure to turn on, hit that like button. Actually, make sure to smash the like button for the level video. I know it's gonna help a ton of you guys to so smash the like button. So it's coming over to the solo. So coming on down to the solo challenge that we have been looking for, guys. It is in the Mutt Heroes bracket. I don't know why I blanked on that for a second, but you know it's funny because playing these solos, I obviously haven't finished them all, which is probably why I never realized it. It's funny how the best solo by more than double was sitting in the Mud Heroes thing and no one realized it for quite some time, which would have helped because a lot of people did actually do the level up grind without this, and I honestly feel for those people. Luckily, I did my level up grind with this, so for me, I never really noticed. Like, it was easy. Like, it was super simple to finish for me. But those people who did it without this one, that means that they were leveling up at half half the rate. Like, that's horrible. If it took me, like, four or five hours, it took me, not, no, between three and five hours, depending, because I did take some breaks. I got lunch. So between three and five hours, it took me. Which by ratio would have meant that it would have taken everyone else like 10 hours if they just did the regular solo, which does really suck. It's under Booth Breakers, and the solo challenges is Technicolor Commentary. You click on it, you go to Easy, play solo, start it up. You obviously, you don't have to play any difficulty because, you know, surprisingly, I really kind of, I mean, I kind of did wish that they would have done XP by difficulty because I think it'd make more sense that way. But they did it regular, so you couldn't play it easy. It gives you no reason to play it hard. I'm yawning a little bit. All right, so we're in here. This one's not as easy as the other solo. They actually kind of play defense here, so you have to actually like kind of think about it a little bit. But the XP is more than worth it. I mean, you can really do anything here. It's on arcade, so you obviously can streak. I have Tyree kill, max protect if you wish. Drew Brees at quarterback, you don't want him. Streak the ball. If you have any like post or anything that you really like, you'd always do that, obviously. But they do actually play you there, as you can see. Like in the other solo, you would just burn them every time. Run, hurry up. So now I don't really recommend per se only doing streaks. I'm showing you guys why you're here. So if you just do streaks, you end up with this, right? You score twice, it takes you two plays, score twice. You get about 170 XP for this. You don't get the full double. I think you have to score in the one. So for that, what I recommend is, guys, I like to do this, personally. This is kind of like what's worked for me. I go to Shotgun out of the Patriot Playbook, and I run right here, post. 
I have my fast receiver at the X spot on the left. I max protect, and you guys are gonna see right here what I pretty much do every time. I let my receiver break over the middle, as you guys can see, and it obviously doesn't work every time, but for the most part, he's gonna, he's gonna probably break it. See, the reason the streak, he won't he won't break it every time is because he's in the air and typically they fall on the way down. This one, he kind of racks it, so he can aggressive catch rack it and then keep running with it, or he burns them. If that CX doesn't play back, he burns them. So that's kind of what I recommend. That one will give you the guaranteed 220 every time. Return to challenge real quick. I don't know if I'll we'll actually end up showing the XP per se because I already have it, but I can tell you from playing three to five hours of it, I kind of already know how this works. I don't even, will it even show me an XP bar? Let's see. It will not. And real quick, guys, the prior solo that you guys did know that was the fastest one, and I'm going to tell you why we're using this one instead. I already explained that, obviously. The prior solo was under NFL Epics. Now, this was the solo everyone else was doing, because if for many of you guys are probably wondering what was the other solo before, if you didn't already know, it was the Baker Mayfield solo. Now, it's funny, because the first week, everyone was doing, like, week five, week three, week five, moment three. That was, like, the week one one that a lot of people were saying. But then I was told that week ten, moment one, I believe, was the best one. So, this is what I've been doing. It's a bit easier to do because literally you just I mindlessly don't I don't have to watch the screen I literally just play on my phone. It's just like why to get the audibles up Click the receiver streak them up with the analog stick and then you throw the ball bomb every time they burn them every time they, they have like a plus 20 speed on them It's so easy the one we're doing now is definitely a lot harder because you don't get easy one play touchdowns as easy as this one It's not guaranteed They can pick the ball they can swat the ball and you might not rack it every time But with the play I said if you get any cover two cover three beaters you should be more than fine. This one's obviously easy, but that one, you get the double X, but you can't even debate. You very simply, in one game, can get what it took to play two of those. And the difference in time is literally two plays to one. But with the loading in and out, it takes you maybe like five seconds, seven seconds more, eight to 10 seconds more to finish it. So the extra 10 seconds gives you double. It's way worth it considering the other one takes you like 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your load speeds. But that pretty much wraps that up. Hopefully you guys have a good understanding. Hopefully you guys understand why we're doing it and remember there's three brackets 220 xp i believe 170 and like 140 i got I, I hit multiple intervals of potential xp to get I, again i can't give you the most def definitive reason i just imagine just how subscribe at least scoring one play getting one of the um, the bonus challenges i don't really know guys but that's it but you guys get the point it's like 220 if you do it one shot 172 i couldn't exactly tell you if there was like a reasoning behind it i mean i could check again i could just be being dumb here but I'm just saying from my experience, it's kind of what I got from it. Now, if you're going from the level 50 to 60, it'll probably take you with this all like three and a half hours, four hours. If you're going to level 60 to 70, it'll probably take closer to five, between three and five hours. It all depends on how you do it, right? If you if you can just keep scoring one play touchdowns, like I was, I just did that. You can keep doing that, probably on the on the shorter side of three to five hours. But if you if you can, if you're shorting two, it'll probably take closer to five hours. And obviously, it depends on how fishing you are. are. You playing straight? Are you taking breaks? You're on your phone texting? Like it all depends how you do it. Personally. I'm really excited we found this guys because I used to dread the level of grind because I mean seven eight hours was it was like okay that's bad but like it wasn't horrible compared to last year last year was like 15 hours so like seven hours was already pretty bad eight but the new solo makes it such a lighter load on my plate like I, can, I literally did it while after I finished my videos I played for like five hours it was only like three o'clock got some lunch and I was I was done it's very simple and the reward you get are phenomenal real quick just to let you guys want no I want to let you guys know why you might even want to do this it's pretty much because of the rewards you can get if you come over down to mutt dedication or serious progression I believe is where it's under you can see the rewards here obviously guys you can't go wrong with these rewards I'm, I promise you this last grind here got me so much first off at level 60 you can get at level actually level 70 you do get offered a series redux player pack which it does cost like ten dollars or whatever it is fifteen dollars obviously if you get philip rivers it sucks but you could potentially get one of the mutt 10 redux legends which would be huge considering how much those cost so i personally recommend that you do that just something i could recommend there i honestly think that you want to get that done and also the power pack even if you don't want to spend money right you know money spent you could always get the power pass which greatly helps you can get a mutt 10 player with that which i went and got Deion sanders you get coin quick sales you get level up packs which give you hundreds of thousands of coins with the quick sales grid iron packs and obviously more quick sales and you get your tory hold up to 94 guys so i highly recommend you get all that done but guys that is about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed i hope this does help you guys with finishing the solo challenge well with getting your level up grind done i recommend you get that done as soon as possible get it done early in the series because the earlier you get it done the quicker you can really benefit with all this power past stuff the longer you wait everyone else is going to have it everyone's going to get their coins all their quick sales like get it done nice and early and you can just relax for the rest of the promo or the rest of the series and get rid of get ready to finish some promos play the game have fun online that's kind of why i like to get it done nice and early but that is about it for the video 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're already new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family, boys. Let's get to 12K. It's been a little slower lately, but we're slowly chugging our way to 10, uh, 12K, so make sure you hit that sub button. Comment down below if you guys have been playing the solo already, or if you just learned about this, or if you already knew, obviously, like I said. And then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You guys always smash the like button, so thank you guys so much for that. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.